let's take a look now at one of the latest polls. We have President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump basically neck and neck in the race to the White House. According to this new election forecast from 538, it shows that Biden has a slight edge, having a 53% chance of winning the election, and Donald Trump follows closely with a 47% chance. Obviously, a lot can happen between now and November 5. What, what do mm. you make of the latest poll numbers? Yeah, well, look, it's still five months away. And, you know, frankly, you and I are paying lots of attention to the race, but most Americans still probably aren't. So many things can happen, lots of black swans, lots of white swans. Uh, but, look, I mean, I'd take a different view from that 538 poll. I think Donald Trump is, is, you know, pretty firmly ahead. I mean, what matters in the US system is the marginal states, you know, the six or seven states that really matter for the Electoral College. And most polls say that in those states, uh, Donald Trump is well ahead. He's like four or five points ahead, which is pretty extraordinary, frankly. Uh, yeah. So you'd have to say that if things stay as they are, more or less, uh, that Donald Trump will win at this stage. And it's not just the polls, it's also the betting markets. I mean, if you look um, at the real clear... Uh, the real clear average of the major eight bookies that take bets on the election. Uh, Donald Trump, something like 51% chance of winning, and Joe Biden, something like 40%. So, so the former president is actually well ahead. And, and, you know, that's pretty extraordinary. I mean, who would have said that one and a half years ago, right? That's that's right. It is extraordinary. And obviously a lot can happen between now and now and then. So I wouldn't be putting my money anywhere just yet. But I suppose if I had to, I probably still I would be putting it behind Trump at the moment. Let's talk about his running mate. The New York Post is reporting that South Carolina Senator Tim Scott is unlikely to be chosen as Donald Trump's running mate. Why do you think that is? And, and who else could it be? Well, look, Donald Trump said a few times that he's going to make the announcement in July, just before the Republican convention, and he'll probably do that. And in fact, he did that in 2020 with Mike Pence. He made it, he made the decision pretty close to the nomination uh, then. Uh, look, I mean, he likes keeping everyone guessing. I mean, of course, there's a, you know, there's a lot of speculation that, uh, that it might be a woman. Uh, there's Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, who's very popular. Uh, there's South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem. Uh, but, but look, I mean, I think, I think no one really knows at the moment um, who he's going to choose. I mean, I think he wants someone who's going to be very subservient and who's not going to overshadow him. Uh, but, look, he's really keeping everyone guessing um, right mm. now. But it is worth pointing out that the selection is extremely important because, you know, I mean, he's turning 78, I think, in the next couple of weeks. And, I mean, he's not going to have a third term. So whoever gets that nomination really has a good chance of running for the presidency on the Republican ticket in uh, 2028. So it's a very important choice.